Let's take a look at this graphic novel I just read called The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. Scott McCloud is an artist writer who I first came across way back in the 90s in uh, probably the work that he's most famous for is understanding comics. And when that was released, I think uh, it was probably the first nonfiction graphic novel that I had read, maybe, but it was certainly the best that I'd read. It, it sounds like such a simple thing to understand comics, but he shows things in that book about what happens between the panels in a comic that is really remarkable. And it's a great book that it has become a classic that I, if you like comics, if you're interested in making them, I suggest you go back and read them. He also went on to do two more sort of sequels to that. They are reinventing comics and making comics. And for some reason, I haven't read those. I don't know why. I mean, the first one was so good, so why didn't I go back and read them? Anyways, I have the second one, Reinventing Comics. I'm going to read it soon, and I'm going to get to making comics eventually. But uh, this, I jumped ahead to his most recent, The Sculptor. And it's a very long book, 500 pages or so. It has uh, the scope of a movie. It feels very movie project-like. Like some, some comic projects tend to feel this way, that they're sort of being manufactured as a you know, launch pad to get a deal for a movie deal or a miniseries or whatever. That is, you know, that's obviously a more lucrative way to make money than selling comics. The audience is potentially much larger, so I don't hold it against him for doing that. But uh, it's a good book on its own that... I can see it being adapted to a movie, but there are also things in it that are uniquely comic. I mean, and that's what I would expect from Scott McCloud. So, especially near the end, I won't, I won't give away any plot details, but or significant plot details. But it's uh, an interesting uh, stretching of time that he does near the end. That you can do, you can do it in TV and movie and film, but. It's very unique in comics that you're the one managing that time as it progresses in the comic page. So I, I like this book. I enjoyed it. It's even though it is very uh, few, several hundred pages long. It's I don't think I read it more than two days. It's not full color. It's like this kind of grayscale that's popular in a lot of alternative comics. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's a Faustian type deal that uh, I would recommend this. It reminds me, it, I mean, the thing that led me to reading it was this quote on the cover from Neil Gaiman, or maybe he tweeted about it or something, but it says, the best graphic novel I've read in years. And I like Neil Gaiman enough and I respect his opinion enough to, to uh, value that so I did check it out and I'm glad I did it's it's a unique book it's, uh, I, don't, I don't want to give away the ending so I can't say too much about it but I will just say that it's it has surprises it's it flows very well there were some some of the dialogue felt a little too that you get in kind of teen novels and uh, some independent uh, kind of interpersonal relationships where it doesn't feel authentic to me. It feels like somebody writing it. But aside from that, I, I thought this was very well done and it doesn't suffer from the problem that I see in a lot of books that take years to write. It doesn't have that feeling that the author is spending years making it. It feels like the amount of time that takes place in the story, which is great. So yeah, I don't really have much more to add to it. Other than that, if you want to see somebody who is a master of the technology of comics and what, is, what it's capable of, then this is a great graphic novel that uh, puts into practice a lot of what Scott McCloud talks about in Understanding Comics and what I presume he talks about in Reinventing and Learning Comics, which I will get to some point soon. He also has a, another book called Zot, which was a comic, I think it ran in the maybe late 80s, early 90s era, that I have not read, but I, I want to read that as well. Yeah.